learners, um, we are going to look at mathematics form four. The topic is differentiation. Uh, we are going to start by defining differentiation. Differentiation is a process of finding the rate of change at an instance. And there are points to note in this topic. Point number one, the gradient of a straight line is a constant. Um, point number two, the gradient of a curve keeps on changing and it is different for different values of x. There are different words that mean the same as differentiation. These are find the gradient function, you can be told find the derivative, find y prime, um, find dy over dx, find f prime. All of those mean differentiation. Suppose you're given an equation y, y is equals to a x power n. And you're told uh, to differentiate. When you're differentiating, you say dy over dx is equal to you multiply the coefficient of x by the power of x, that will be a n x, you subtract the power of x, which is n, from 1. So you say n minus 1. That's how you differentiate. And an example of a differentiation, you can say, is um, you are given the equation y is equals to 3x squared, and you are told to differentiate. So we say dy over dx is equal to, uh, I said you multiply the coefficient of x, which is 3, by the power of x, which is 2. So you say 3 times 2, which is 6x, and you subtract the power of x from 1, which is 2 minus 1, which is x power 1. x power 1 is the same as x, so that is the derivative of that equation. The second example is y. You are told find the differentiate the equation y is equals to 2x cubed 2x cubed plus x squared plus 7x. So in this equation, you say dy over dx is equal to. I said you multiply the coefficient by the power, which is 2 times 3, 6x, and I said you you subtract the power from 1, which is 3 minus 1, which is so that is 6x squared plus the coefficient of x in this case is 1. So you say 1 times 2, which is just 2x, and the power of x is 2. Subtract from 1, that is 1, plus the coefficient of x here is 7, and the power of x here is 1. So that is 7 times 1, which is 7. And uh, suppose you say x, x has a power of 1 in this equation, so you say x which has a power of 1 minus 1, that will be x power 0. But you cannot write x power 0 because in form 2 you have been taught that when a number, suppose it's a, has a power of 0, it is equal to 1. So in this case, x is equal to 1, which we say 7 times 1, that will be just 7. So that is the derivative of that equation. And in the second concept, we're going to look at the equation of the tangent to a curve. And at the point of contact, we know that at the point of contact of the curve and the tangent, the gradient of the curve is equal to the gradient of the tangent at that point. So if you are told, for example, suppose this is our curve here. This is our curve. And you have been told to draw a tangent at this point. This is point x. So when you are drawing a tangent, you draw the tangent. That is now the tangent. And this is your curve. And for example, you are given an equation. You are told find the equation of the tangent to the curve. And y is equals to x cubed minus, minus 4x plus 3 at the point 3, 1. So in this equation, <coughs> this is your Cartesian plane. Let us assume this is your Cartesian plane. For that equation, that is your Cartesian plane, and this is your curve. So the equation of this curve will be y is equals to x cubed minus 4x plus 3. And uh, you're supposed to find the equation of the tangent and the point where y is 1 and x is 3. To say that's, that's the point, let's say. 
And when you're, to, when you're told to do that, when you're finding the equation of the tangent, the first step, you derive the equation, you, derive, you find the derivative of the equation of the curve dy over dx is equal to, you find the derivative of this equation, which is the equation of the curve, that's the first step. We say the coefficient of x here is 1, 1 times 3, that is 3x, and I said when the power is 3, you minus 1, that is 2 minus 4, and the x power at the power of x here is 1. So 1 times 4 is 4. So I said when the power of x is 1, that is just like x power 0, which is equal to 1, which when I say 4 times 1 is just 4. And when the number is constant, you don't, you, there's no, uh, there's, it does not have x or any other value such as ts, you can just leave it, it is just 0. So that is the derivative of that equation. That's the first step into finding the equation of the tangent. The second step, you have been given the points 3, 1, right? So you substitute the point x. This is x, y. So you substitute x into that uh, gradient to find the gradient. So you say dy over dx is equal to 3, bracket 3, squared minus 4. 3 squared is 9 times 3, which is 27 minus 4, that is the dy over dx, is equal to 23. This is also the gradient. And in form 2, you have been taught where the gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. This is our third step. And we have the, the, the coordinates 3, 1. And we don't have the other coordinates, which is x, y. And we have our gradient here, which is 23. So what you're going to do is, we're going to find that equation, which is also the equation of the tangent. So the final step will be y minus 1 all over x minus 3, which is equal to 23. You can say 23 over 1, because 23 over 1 and 23 are one and the same thing. So when you cross multiply the equation, it is y minus 1 is equal to 23 bracket x minus 3, right? So y will be equal to 23x this is 23 times 3 is 69 so that will be 23x minus 69 and then you you add the one from that side you gonna shift to the other side of the equation plus one so y is equals to 23x minus 68 that is the equation of the tangent. There are four steps involved. If you are carefully following, you will realize there are four steps involved. So in, that's the end of our lesson today.